hello everyone habibi here in this video i'm going to make a video tutorial about how to create multiplayer unity game using photon so i assume you have already installed photon from unity asset store make sure you have this one pun to free just install it on your unity project if you have it in your unity project you will have this folder and then go to window photon unity networking click this one to show this window then you have to set up the project click this one here you need to enter an app id let's make an app by going to dashboard of our photon inside this photonengine.com website create a new app I will call it simple game choose pun and I type simple game create the app then you will have an app ID it is here here copy the app id and go back to unity and paste it here paste and click setup project close the window you will have this button server setting this is your app id and now we have the photon installed and set up correctly now let's create a cube here this cube we name it player and this player we need to make a prefab of it so I create a resources for your folder resources make a prefab of this player here we go now delete this player from the scene go to my blog here I have a blog post I have a simple script to help you get started with uh, multiplayer game development with button create this script simple launcher copy the name of the script here create the script with that name double click I will give you the link of this blog post on my description below and copy all the code paste select all and paste it here now we need to go back to unity here we need a game object i will create an empty game object name it launcher add the script here and then go to the inspector player prefab drag and drop this player prefab here oh yeah I forgot something this player uh, object you need photon view in it photon view component photon view and one more component you need photon transform view classic check these two checkboxes Okay, go back then you can use this prefab here all right now you can run the game and if everything is working you will see the cube instantiated oh, yeah it is instantiated here at the center of the screen I'm going to export the game 
build setting and let me delete this add the sample scene and I will build it to desktop wait for a minute alright the the exe file has been generated on this folder I will run it and you will see this cube is me a player of this instance and I'm going to run the game also from this unity editor as a second player I will show you this way okay now we have two cubes here but let me move mine which one is my cube I think it is this one yeah if I move this cube not that one no yeah not that one I think this one yeah this one this cube is the player from desktop and me here in editor is this one if I move this cube you can see that cube is moving alright it is very simple script to help you get started with developing photon game and I think let me complete it by adding a simple script so you can move the cube by using WESD buttons on your keyboard I will show you a script which is this one I'm going to create a script I call it a simple player movement double click the script <coughs> copy everything here and paste it inside this update function go back to unity find the player prefab that we made before and attach this simple player movement script I will test it let me run the game wait until the cube is instantiated now I can move my cube using W E S and D button I have also Q and E button to modify the to rotate the cube you can make it faster the movement move these two variables here make them public public then go to resources folder now we can edit the speed of the player speed we can make it 30 R speed means rotation speed let's make it 60 okay I will run the game and here we are I can move it using my keyboard okay let me build the project again as a windows game okay let me run the game 
here is the first player and I will run it here as the second player now this is the second player oh yeah you see the strange behavior both cubes are moving it is not correct we will uh, correct it we will correct it by adding this line here inside the simple player movement we need to add this line using photon dot pan and then we change mono behavior to mono behavior pan callbacks and here we need to check if photon view is mine then we move we can move the player if this object which is the cube is our object in photon network then we move it if not we cannot we should not move it let's go back to unity okay photon view maybe this should be lowercase v photon view I'm going to build it again not this one okay we are ready to test it again I will run multiple instances of the game okay now we have three players this one let's move it you can see if i move this cube you can see the updates on the other games if i move this player this one you can see the updates there all right that's all for this video because so many of you were asking me to make tutorial about multiplayer and this one is my first tutorial about how to make multiplayer game using photon okay see you next time on my next videos bye bye